What is up YouTube? Luca here with another PvE build for the next chapter, the High Isle, with my Magicka Necromancer. I used almost the same setup like previous patch, with Reliquin on the body, for the most single target damage. The new Light Armor choice set, Verbal of Deaths, work fine too, with one or 2k less DPS. Problem about this set is the second proc is static, which means in dynamic boss fights probably not worth it. Alternative bar size is probably best in slot for the most dungeon and trial content. And the new medium armor set called Riptide, also called stamina bar size, is even slightly better than bar size. If you prefer a more comfortable rotation without draining your resources, go with Reliquin or Verbal of Deaths. Second set, Kinras, what else? If they don't nerf it, it will be best in slot forever with Major Berserk for yourself and Minor Berserk for your groupmates. Unbeatable. The Selfish set, Dwayne in Yokida, has similar results but without the support benefit. Mostly not viable in dungeons or raids. A smithic item, Apuna's Raiding killed. Then nerfed the crit bonus, minimalistic, and the duration from 1 minute to 20 seconds, but it doesn't matter to be honest. Still best in slot. Alternative, the new mythic shoulder, Mora's Whispers, is an option too, if you're patient enough to farm all those Shalido books. On the back bar, the song is a arena weapon at the moment, the Malsum Greatsword with Stampede. It did over 12k single target DPS. Keep in mind, Stampede and even the Malsum proc Mercer's Charge deal AoE damage. For those who are worried about the slack on AoE damage with the 2H instead of the Inferno stuff, don't worry, we have more than enough with Stampede and Mercer's Charge. As filler, one slime core, like always, fights a crit. I'm not sure why slime still has the most crit rate as one set piece bonus compared to all others. They probably didn't even realize it. If you don't have access to mythic items, then use two Kerna, Stormfist, or even Ice Heart for a more defensive playstyle for triple achievements, for example. Closer look on the build. I'm on six medium armor pieces, one light armor for extra penetration. Full Divines and full Max Magica Glyphs. Jewelry, full Bloodthirsty with Spell Damage. Depends on your group in terms of Jewelry Glyphs. If you have a Temple in your group for Minor Sorcery, then go with Spell Damage. If you have a DK with Mortal Armaments, then go with Weapon Damage Glyphs. Then two Daggers for extra crit rate. None Charged. Flame and Poison Damage Enchant and backed by a great sword for extra spell damage, it infused with the Berserker Glyph. Quick look on skills, Barb Trap for minor force, 10% extra crit damage and Slayer, 3% extra weapon spell damage, Stalking Blast Bone, still the Magicka Morph, better than a stamina one, then Scouts as spammable, I could use a Scowling Rune for a full dot rotation, but for the most dungeon and trial content, you need a spammable uh, dot rotation is not useful there. Then Detonity Siphon and Deadly Cloak for Mage Evasion and a powerful dot. Flawless Dawnbreaker just slotted for the extra weapon and spell damage. Backbar Stampede. Calf. Calf is a flex spot. You can also use Caltrops for a little bit more AoE damage and a bigger radius of 8 meters. Avid Boneyard with the own synergy, Grave Rubber. It did, I think, 2k plus DPS. Then Mystic Orb and Skeletal Archer, the stamina one. Deeds slightly more single tire damage. For AoE fights, go with the Skeletal Mage. Then Shooting Star as ultimate, as supporter. Go with the Colossus for major vulnerability. Race High Elf for extra spell and weapon damage, Max Magica and a little bit of stamina and magica region, depends on uh, which resource pool is lower. High Elf is slightly better than Danmo, followed by Khajiit. Then Mundostone Thief for extra crit rate, Buffoot Crunchy Spider for the extra stamina region, we have a lot of stamina abilities definitely needed here. 
and 64 points in Magicka attribute points. Potions, the normal spare power potions, depends on the situation. If you have Camouflaged Hunter or Inner Light on your bar, on both bars, then you can even go with the Heroism potions with minor Heroism, then Max Magicka and Stamina. CPs, Biting Aura, Rawful Strikes, Mastered Arms and Backstabber. Rawful Strikes is slightly better than Taumaturge. It's kinda meme that on a dot class, Rawful Strikes is better than the dot CP, but since the nerf, as you can see, instead of 10% extra damage, it only gives 6%. Also Biting Aura, Mastered Arms and Backstabber got nerfed from 10 to 6% and backstabber from 15 to 10% crit damage. Then red CPs, rejuvenation, fortify, bonus vitality and celerity. Quick talk about the rotation. Pre-buff yourself with channel acceleration, skeletal archer, daily cloak and mystic orb. Then start with blast bones into shooting star, followed by stampede and calf. Then blast bones again into boneyard with scouts and then use Blast Bones in combination with two skills. So Blast Bones every third skill. Keep up your dots if one expire, reapply it again. Keep up three calf stacks if every dot is up, use skulls in between and don't forget to light attack in between every skill. Simple as that. If you have questions, type them down below. I leave you here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below. I would really appreciate it. Next builds are incoming, I wish you all a fantastic day and I see you in the next one. Peace.